There are three types of polygons in Altium Designer, each with their own set of parameters. Let's investigate them and how to access those properties. The first type we're going to discuss are solid polygons. Remove islands less than. This setting enables or disables the pouring of isolated, dead copper, or polygon fragments. The size of the area can be set in square millimeters or mils. Copper with an area smaller than this specified area will not be poured. Arc approximation. Polygons approximate arcs using straight lines and this value can be set here. A smaller value means arcs will be more accurately approximated. We recommend leaving this value the default. Changing this field will require a polygon repour. Remove next less than. This enables or disables the removal of polygon segments whose width is less than the specified value. Best practice dictates that this value should equal the minimum track width. Increasing this value ensures that narrow spaces won't get poured with copper. Hatched polygon options. You can customize the properties of the hatching on the polygon. Track width adjusts the width of the tracks and grid size the gap between them. For example, you can change the grid size to one millimeter the polygon will also need to be reported. Surround pad width. This allows you to choose the shape separating pads from the hatched pour. Either a circle or an octagon are the options available. Here are the hatch modes you can select from. 90 degrees, 45 degrees, only horizontal or only vertical lines. If you change the type of hatch, the polygon needs to be reported. The min prim link specifies how short the track or arc objects in the fill mode are allowed to be. Polygons of type none appear as an outline. You can set the width of the lines of the outer contour. For example, change the value to 0.5 millimeters. Again, the polygon needs to be repoured. You can also select how pads will be isolated from the polygon and the minimum length of the lines from which the outer contour will be created. Comment all three polygon types are the following options. Don't pour over same net objects. This option prevents the polygon from making contact with any other objects, even those with the same net. Pour over all same net objects. This means that the pour will make contact with any objects it shares a net with. In other words, it will pour over all same net objects. Pour over same net polygons only. This option is a compromise between the first two. The polygon will not make contact with any other same net objects, but will make contact with any same net polygons it encounters. Pour over all same net objects is the most commonly used option, but the other options are there if needed. You may find that reporting leaves traces of dead copper or unconnected areas of copper on the board. Enabling the remove dead copper setting will automatically remove these. Changing this setting will also require a repour. If you place a primitive in this now empty space, it will no longer be isolated and a portion of the polygon will fill that area. So now we have a better idea of what polygon types are available and what their associated options are. Thanks for watching. Next up, let's learn about the Polygon Manager.